Hey, do you want to learn how to speed ramp just like the one you're watching right now? Then stay with me, I'll show you how. Before we get started, smash the subscribe button and leave a comment below saying I subscribed and I will get back to you and answer all your questions. So let's get started. In order to pull off this effect, we need video clips. So import your clips into your media library. I've done that already. And if you're done, then let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is to drag in one of the clips, drag it to the timeline. As you can see, the clips are as audio. And we don't need the audio, so we're going to right click on it, right click on the on the clip, then click on mute. Now we've mute the audio. Now let's get some parts. Split the first one. Then go forward a little bit, then split it right there again. Mm -hmm. Then we split it again. So we we'll delete the last part. Then let's drag down another image. And you go just like the first one you split. After muting the uh, audio, of course. So you split it right there. And you move it forward a little bit and split it again. Then you split another shorter version of it. You split it right in. So let's go back and and speed up the the others of uh, the first parts. You click on speed, then change it to ten. Speed it ten times. Click OK. Then. You come back to this display, you, you do the same thing, change it to 10, speed it 10 times, then the next one, do the same, you speed it up 10 times, then let's drag them another image, our second image. So let's make our first, uh, let's mute the audio and let's make our first cuts right in and move the uh, timeline, move the head timeline forward and slash it again and another slash and we delete the other part that we don't want and we can go back and change this to to run 10 times faster the second one too and you can go ahead and do the same thing to the others doesn't matter it depends on how many clips you have you can follow the same process and apply it to others so I'm gonna fast forward it right here all right, now that we're done, we pre-render it. Now let's go back and test it and see how it is. Click play. All right, as you can see, the clip is a little bit um, longer than I want. So we're going to slash it and remove some parts. Click on slash and click delete it. Slash it again. Then click the second part delete it. The same thing to the all the other part just to make it shorter it depends i don't want i want it to be very short if you want it long you can leave it that way so slash it however it's shorter now now let's test it again all right so that's it yes in a nutshell that's how to Run, but we're not done yet. We can add a kind of um, sound to it. So, have some sound here. I'm gonna pull some down. If you have some too, you can do the same. I'm gonna add sound to to where to where the the speed was speed up to where the ramp happened. So you pull it down then. And make adjustment 
do the same to others. So when you're done, you can test it. You can test it and see how it is. Alright, you may not hear the sound now because I muted, but when I'm done, I'm gonna play the final one for you and you will hear how it sounds. So if you're satisfied with it, you can go over it a couple of times just to make sure everything is okay. Now we can there's something else we can do. We can add a background music to it. If you have a music you want to use as background, you can drag it down and add it to the timeline. So let's get a music. use the own music on Femora. I'm going to use this first one, drag it down. And drop it right in. So, you can play it and hear the sound. If it's too high, you can reduce the, the volume and cut out the, the parts you don't want. So this is definitely too long, so I'm going to cut out this part. Click on it and click cut and click delete. Get rid of it. And I'm going, I'm going to adjust the volume too. So you double click and you come to this window and you adjust the volume. That the volume will not, over sh will not be too loud, you know. It's a background um, music. So you go through it over again and make sure the sound is just perfect it's cool then when you satisfy what you have the next thing you can do is render it is to export it so that's what we're gonna do we're going to export it and wait for it to render it may take time it may take an hour or more or lace but when it is done we'll come back and watch the final product together wow so it is done here is a final product what's your take on this what what do you think you can do this on your own If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe if you haven't and leave a comment below and like it, share it with your friends and thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.